Hi, boys and girls. It's me, Miss Manny. We are in our series Blast Off, and we're going to learn that we can launch our faith up into the sky and beyond. If you're new, text the word new to the number on the screen because we send mail with fun coloring sheets and fries. We're all mission control, Manny. We're detecting an object coming in. Whoa, 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 whoa. <sighs> Sorry about that, Manny. I was testing out my rocket boosters and got a little excited. Anyways, welcome to our brand new series, Blast Off. Five, four, three, two, one. Zero. All engine running. Hi boys and girls, my name is Miss Chastity and whether you're joining us in person or online, we are so excited that you're here to talk about Jesus with us. Now, in our series Blast Off, we are learning that we can launch our faith up into the sky as high as outer space and beyond. Mission control, mission control, we're ready to launch the big idea. Okay boys and girls, it's our big idea and it says we can serve others. Good job, can you say that with me? We can serve others. Awesome, boys and girls. Now, before we get any further, let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for bringing us all together today, whether we're watching online or in person. We can't wait to learn more about you and how we can serve others. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Good job, boys and girls. All right, let's get to worship. As we shout out the name of Jesus There are people searching for so much more Shine your light, show them what's worth living for Let it shine in the morning when you rise Let it shine when you're found in the darkest night There is hope in Jesus, life anew Let his love shine through
Welcome back, boys and girls. Worshiping God is so much fun. Okay, so let's get into our Bible story today. So in this Bible story, we're talking about Jesus. But one of my favorite things about Jesus was that he often did things that were so different that it made people kind of question him and, and, and look at him kind of funny. But they had a huge purpose. Okay, so we're in John chapter 13, verses six through seven. And it says, he came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus replied, you do not realize now what I am doing, but later you will understand. Wow, boys and girls, washing somebody else's feet? I know it may seem kind of funny, but remember, God has a huge purpose. Let's watch this video and learn a little bit more about that. Stories of the Bible. Jesus washes his disciples' feet. This is Jesus. hey -oh! Who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love. He healed many people from their sickness, performed many miracles like calming storms, and even raised people from the dead. Wahoo! At this time, the Jewish people were celebrating a festival called Passover that had been celebrated since the time of Moses when God brought his people out of Egypt. So Jesus and his disciples went to Jerusalem to celebrate. Jesus had 12 men who followed him through his ministry. They were called his disciples. Jesus and his disciples gathered for one final meal together. Jesus got up from the table, took off his robe, and began to wash his disciples' feet. Jesus loved his disciples, and he knew the time was coming for him to leave them and return to heaven. When Jesus came to Peter, he said, whoa, 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 wait. Are you going to wash my feet? Jesus said, you don't understand what I'm doing now, but someday you will. No! Peter said, you will never wash my feet. But Jesus then told him that unless he washed his feet, he would not belong to him. Oh, well then, okay! Then Peter said, then wash my hands and head as well, not just my feet. But Jesus told him that was not necessary. He just needed to wash his feet for Peter to become clean. So Jesus finished washing their feet and said that the disciples should do to others as he had done for them. He told them to follow the example that he had set for them to serve each other and not think of themselves as greater than any other. Then God would bless them for doing as Jesus had taught them to do. You're back, boys and girls. Wasn't that video amazing? It really shows us about the, what the importance of this lesson was. Now, keep in mind, during that time, the custom was that the least important person washed everyone else's feet. And Jesus had 12 disciples. So talk about a stinky job. Now, boys and girls, Jesus did this on purpose because just because he was God's son, he was serving others. Because in God's eyes, no one is more important than the other. That's so amazing. And God wants you to know, and he was teaching, Jesus was teaching us in this, that after serving God, the number one thing you can do is serve others. And hey, that reminds me of our big idea. Wanna say it with me? We can serve others. Good job, boys and girls. Whoa, I think something hit our ship. Let's all get our spacesuits on and all of our gear, and let's check it out in space and let's see what happened. Oh, hello, boys and girls. My name is Space Trash. Sorry I hit your spaceship. While I was floating, I found a Bible verse to share with you. We're in Psalms 119, 105, and it says, your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path. Great job, boys and girls. I've got a satellite to hit out of orbit, but have a trashy day. Bye. 
you're back. Thank you so much for helping us clean that debris. Whew, that was a lot. All right, boys and girls, all this astronaut work has really made me hungry. And I know we're gonna get to how you can serve others and we're gonna learn more about that. But first, it's lunchtime here on the space station. And so I'm about to join astronaut Manny and astronaut Bubba for lunch. So let's see what I have for lunch today. Ooh, I have an apple. Ooh, I can share this with Miss Manny because she just oh, loves to chomp on some apples and smack and make lots of noise with those. And then, oh, I have some chips. And astronaut Bubba loves to snack on some chips. He's pretty loud too. I bet the black holes will even hear it in the darkness of space. Well, boys and girls, that kind of reminds me of our big idea. We can serve others. Hmm. So I can share and I can serve others and serve Miss Manny and Mr. Bubba by sharing my apple or sharing my chips with Mr. Bubba. And I bet you could do that at school too or, or somewhere else. I bet that you can think of that kid that sits at the lunch table all by themselves or maybe the kid who just doesn't have enough to eat. You can serve others by sharing your food with them. But that's not the only way that you can serve others. You can also serve others by maybe if you have some extra clothes that you're not wearing anymore, you can give those away to people who do need them. Or maybe you can share your favorite toy to your sibling who's really been eyeing it and you've noticed. Boys and girls, there's so many ways that we can serve others. But the number one way that we can serve others is telling them about Jesus because Jesus loves us so much. Hey, boys and girls, let's do our big idea one more time. We can serve others. Good job, boys and girls. Now, I've got some more special stuff to do on the space station, but we just want you to remember that Jesus loves you, and we do too. Bye.